just been having a look in the bees, seeing how they're doing for the spring. And uh, I got to thinking about how far they travel, you know, the, the, where it is that they will travel up to about two, two and a half mile, just to find pollinating or uh, nectar rich plants. And that got me thinking about pollinations. It's a question of uh, always being asked. So I thought we'd address that. Here in a village, there's so many apple trees about that really you only need one in your garden and you'll be, you'll be uh, pollination fine. Most small towns, there's, there's no need to worry. And even if you do have two or three apple trees, they don't need to be on top of each other. It's bees travel a long way. Anyway, take a look at this. One of the questions um, we get asked a lot that, um, on the nurseries is about apple tree pollination. Now it seems to puzzle a lot of people and uh, it needn't. So I'm going to go through apple tree pollination with you, um, just to make it understandable. Apple trees flower over a period of six weeks in the spring. This is a generalisation, but in general apple trees flower over a six week period. An apple tree itself will flower for about two weeks. So we divide that six weeks into two week periods. Those that flower in the first two weeks, we call group one. Those that flower in the middle two weeks, we call group two. And those that flower for the last two weeks, we call group three. This is very important to understand because if you're going to grow two apple trees for pollination, you want two within the same group. Now it is no good having them of the same variety. It won't work. And as daft and as dog assed as it might sound, a plum will not pollinate an apple tree, a pear will not pollinate an apple tree, an apple pollinates an apple. So, if we have a look at the apple trees in my garden here at home, this is a group three apple. And uh, you can see the buds are just starting to break. Can you get that? You see the buds are forming. They're not yet ready. So that would be in the third two weeks. We're in the middle at the moment of... Uh, Here you can see apple trees that are just starting to come into, into bloom. You can see that they're, the buds are just starting to open and some of the flowers are starting to open. This is what we would call a group two apple tree. And over here, this is probably a group three. The flowers have just about all finished and just spent and any pollination will have been done. Now the purists, the real pomologists as they call them, the people that really go into it in depth, will divide them into nine and they'll give each apple tree, each variety of apple, a five day period, but two weeks covers it, covers it generally and they can, different nurserymen call them group one, group two, group three or A, B and C. It doesn't matter a bugger. Years ago, it was traditional to put um, a crab apple amongst other apple trees. This is because a crab apple has a much longer flowering period and very often encompasses all three groups. In the north of England, we would have 
uh, a tendency not to have group one apple trees because of late frosts. I'll show you a, a crab apple. And while looking at this, you also get a wander up the garden. Now, if the cameraman can get up here, you get up there without falling ass over tip. Head, sorry. This is a good, good old crab apple. I used to use this as a signature plant because it has beautiful apples. It's a variety called Dartmouth, Malus Dartmouth. Fantastic crab apple. And you can see it's got some blooms that are fully gone and some buds that are just starting to open. And up here, if I pick a couple off, you can see these. These haven't even opened. That's the glory of a, a crab apple. They have a long flowering period and they can cover all three groups. It gets complicated when you start getting into triploids, but you don't need to worry about that. A triploid is a, a variety like Bramley and it can't pollinate another, bra another apple. So if you have a, an apple tree that's a triploid, you need another one to pollinate the variety that you've got to pollinate the Bramley. So you really need three apple trees. However, I wouldn't recommend Bramley as a, as a cooker. It's a, it's a lovely apple and people ask me if, uh, do I do Bramley apple? And I say yes. They generally ask me because it's the only bloody apple they know. But uh, if I had to recommend a good cooker, it would probably be Lord Derby, which doesn't have, it's not a triploid, pollinate away, and it's also not a biennial bearer, which means that it, it crops one year and not the other, or very little on the second year. So that's about it. They're divided into three groups. Other fruits won't pollinate apples. And really it doesn't matter where you are because the six week period will just happen later in the north. Our apple tree flowering is just starting here on the Yorkshire and Durham border. Like bluebells, they're just coming out. In the south of England, they're blown. Finished. Over. Bluebell, woods, all gone. That's about it. Have you got anything else to ask about apple tree pollination? Fuck off and ask it somewhere else. <laughs> One thing. I should just uh, just add, as regarding using a crab apples as pollinators, is that there's a lot of malice varieties, like this one. This is a, a weeping form called red jade. I don't know why it's called red jade, because it's not very red. But anyway, that's its name. And uh, it's, a, it's an ornamental crab apple. It provides pollen, but it's not such a good pollinator. Um, this is another crab apple, royalty, a purple leaf form. Again, it's not such a great pollinator. The varieties you would choose would be something like Dartmouth, Wisdy Crab is a good one, or probably more commonly available are John Downey and Golden Hornet. Um, I have them all in the garden, so I've got pollen coming out my ear rolls. Doing it again, aren't you? Yeah. Go away. I do make a lot of mistakes these days. In case you're wondering, this is a smoker. We put old hay in here and we just give them a little uh, set fire to it and give them, and it smoulders away and we quieten the bees down if they're a bit on the uh, stroppy side. Most of the time we don't need it, but uh, I like to have it about. So there you are, you'll spot my mistake when I was explaining the, the groups. 
of, of apple trees. Um, the, the, the last one I showed you, uh, and I said it was group three, was actually group one. I think the editor will have uh, put a caption on to that extent. And it's also worth remembering that there's a crossover. So you could have group two with group three and there would be some crossover of pollination. You'll also hear that there are self-fertile apple trees and there are some that are classified as partially self-fertile or self-fertile, but really it is only per partial and you'll always do better with uh, more trees about. But as I said at the beginning, if you live in a village or a town, there's usually plenty within distance as the bee flies. I don't think there's any more on that subject. That's it then. I'm off for a cup of tea.